For a lot of people, Resident Evil 5 is one of the worst entries in the Resident Evil franchise, and I would solely have to disagree on that. I really like Resident Evil 5 for what it is and what it accomplishes. I know it's not a perfect game, but I love it for what it is, and I would have to say it's a top 5 for me personally. Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 4 are my all-time favorite Resident Evil games in the Resident Evil franchise, and I would have to say Resident Evil 5 is the third game in my list. Today I'm going to be going over some reasons why I love the game so much, and why I enjoy playing it so much with a friend or by myself. But if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, it's not going to be a in-depth review or nothing of that nature. This is just going to be a semi-mini review in my own style. And today guys, we're going to be talking about those reasons why I love Resident Evil 5. I'm going to be listing off a couple of reasons why I primarily play the game in 2022 and I still adore it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. One question that I really want you guys to ask yourself, is Resident Evil 5 hated because it's mostly action and not horror? That is one thing that a lot of people are indecisive to this day about Resident Evil 5. For me personally, I think Resident Evil 5 is an action game. I know what it is and I know why I'm playing it. I know it's not horror and that's okay. I know it's not horror, I'm not going to get scared. The whole primary focus of Resident Evil 5, in my opinion, was to be an action shooter co-op multiplayer game. But a lot of people don't like Resident Evil 5 because it was the start of an action spiral downward trend. And what I'm trying to say is the game was primarily focused at action and it was trying to bring in a new element to the franchise. Resident Evil up to that point had always been horror and no one can tell me differently. The first Resident Evil games were always focused on horror and Resident Evil 5 was just the start of something new. And a lot of people didn't like that. Looking back at it a couple years ago, I didn't like it either. But recently thinking about it and kind of just thinking more and more and just looking at the game for what it is, I think differently now. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to resonate with what I say next, and if not, that's perfectly okay. I love Resident Evil 4 for what it is and what it has done for the franchise and in gaming in general. For me personally, Resident Evil 4 would have to be the start of the trend. And when people say Resident Evil 5 started it, I would have to disagree. Resident Evil 4 just has more of those elements. It has puzzles, which I know is not the start of an action trend, don't get me wrong, but it has a lot of those elements. I mean, it has quick time events. It has a lot of management, uh, item management, I'm sorry. And you know, I know Resident Evil 5 kind of dumbed it down you can also customize weapons and you buy more weapons, stuff of that nature. Now, that's more of a survival horror thing. I get that. But you can't not disagree with me and say that it doesn't kind of intervene with that. But again, that's just an opinion I have. Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games, as I mentioned previously, and I love it. And you know, I won't sit here and say that it doesn't have any horror in it because it does, but I wouldn't say that it has a lot. I mean, it has a lot of great enemy designs that could spook you, and it does have some horror moments in game, and I won't spoil any of that for people who haven't played the game. I highly recommend playing Resident Evil 4 to this day the original the remake is set to come out soon in march and in anticipation i highly recommend playing resident evil 4 if you do you'll understand what i'm talking about in this video for me resident evil 5 probably has one of the best stories in the resident evil franchise and i know that's going to be a very unpopular opinion but i think it's a very great paced story and it has a lot of callbacks and references to older resident evil games and it kind of ties in resident evil 1 and 2 and 3 all in together and even resident evil 4 into resident evil 5 and it just combines 
all these games into this one and you would understand if you've played the game and you see the references and i don't want to spoil anything but resident evil 5 probably has one of the best stories and that's probably one of the best parts of the game for me personally resident evil 5 has probably some of the best levels in the franchise to provide some examples one minute you can be going from a village and keep in mind the whole game takes place in africa and one minute you're in a village second you're in a car traveling against the safari of africa mowing down enemies and then next you're in a boat trying to get to the enemy and then lastly you're in a volcano some of these are just great memories to have with a person and that's why i have a lot of nostalgia uh quick side note i played the game back in maybe 2012 20 like 10 with my cousin i was very young at the time and he introduced me to the resident evil franchise and i've always been fond of the games and jesus man i just love the level design for the game and that's another thing that i just love so much about this resident evil 5 probably has to have a lot of extra content from versusing your friends and honestly the fan favorite mercenaries united which is probably the best incarnation of mercenaries in any resident evil game it has a lot of levels to start off with and a lot of the best levels are so beautiful and you can play as a lot of characters a lot of different versions of the characters uh chris sheva and then you can also play as jill and a lot of the fan favorite characters in the resident evil franchise i highly recommend playing it and it's pretty enjoying i've always wanted to cover this topic and give my take on it and i never really got around to it until today and i just feel like resident evil 5 was just done so dirty i know it's a very controversial game to a lot of people but i love it for what it is man maybe i could have looked at the game in a different way but nothing changes the fact that i have fun every time i play if i'm playing solo or if i'm playing with a friend i always know that i'm going to enjoy resident evil 5. resident evil 5 is going to always have a place in my heart I know nostalgia could be a factor of why I'm so biased to this game, but everything is subjective to everyone. Maybe Resident Evil 5 isn't your favorite game. Maybe it's at the bottom of your list. That's okay. That's the beauty of having these kind of conversations online and especially on YouTube because you can have these discussions and people can open up their eyes. And that's definitely what I've been trying to do in this video. Maybe my argument wasn't persuasive enough or maybe you don't agree with me. That's fine. My whole point in this video is just to open your guys' eyes for whatever eight minutes or nine minutes how long ever this video is just to see what you guys think and give my take on this other than that guys that's gonna have to wrap up today's video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace out guys have a great one